Hello. I thought y'all might want to see my altar to Hecate. Um, here is her purple. I have two of these, one on each end. Her purple lantern. There's one over there. Here is a picture of a gateway. I know my light's probably right in the middle of that, but it's really pretty. Um, it's really relevant to her. She Gateways are associated with her. There's her sigil. Her primary sigil. I have actually, I have one coming. If it ever gets here, I ordered it three months ago, and I still haven't received it. That's actually burnt into a piece of wood. It's really pretty. If it ever gets here, but for now, I'm using that one. Of course, there's her triple goddess statue and her seashells and this just started here a while back I don't know why her this one dress this is what's so neat has turned purple all by itself and her snake has turned green all of this was bronze when I bought it but now, and you notice just in her, just her dress is purple. And I thought it might be the reflection off of this, but you take this away and it's still purple. Isn't that awesome? Oops. Um, this other one has turned green. And this one back here on the other side is still just as bronze as the day. Well, no, it's changed now, too. Now, that color is blue. Is that not weird? That is freaking awesome. That's beautiful. She's doing her own thing. And, of course, I just realized, too, I usually have a... Um, Here's a key that I bought for her. It's got little witch's brooms on it, if you can see them. Um, this is something I found that just says spirit. That I put around here. Um, I have her own uh, pinnacle. That usually hangs here, but I used it in a spell the other day and forgot to put it back on her. But usually I have one that's wrapped around this arm and hangs down. Wrapped around this arm and hangs down to here. But anyway, here's the feathers that I find. I'm limited for room here. Here's the feathers that I find um, and put on here for her. There's some more. Down in here, and her black stones that I put on here. Her honey. I got roses for my love for her, and hibiscus flowers. Here is her crossroads dirt. Some more little seashells up here. Um, her incense that she likes that I put in here. Um, I like to put, this is down here below her, so it's like she's watching over her daughters as they do their work. And of course her bell, her chalice with her um, moon water in it. The bowl of um, crystals and stones that I showed y'all the other day. These are just a few that I set on her altar. And her personal black candle. Then I have her own wand that I was going to fix up for her. Put some stuff in it. But she seems to like it just the way it is. So I don't, I don't mess with it. Is that better? Can you see better? And the FMA. And of course here's where her chocolate cake's about to go. And this is the candle I made her. It's in a red jar with purple um, and that 
is about it. Um, I will show you my Nash broom right quick. This way. She hangs above my TV because she's way too long and big to hang above my door. Isn't she beautiful? She's taller than I am when standing up beside me, and I'm five, almost 5'8". Five so, she's beautiful. I love her. I love her. And, of course, I have brooms everywhere. I have brooms all over the house. I have, uh, about to see me, there's my, my big mirror that I work in sometimes. There's one of them. And then I have cinnamon brooms hanging on each side here. And I have these two brooms as you come in my doorway. And find my stuff. I'm going to try to hang that other one. Usually the brooms, you have at least one above your door. As you come in the door, it, it the history of the broom um, is, you know, that it... Um, sweeps out negativity so I need to see I have one over there the top one that's hanging right up above there it may fit up there I don't know but I have a really messed up shoulder and I can't raise it above my head to um, nail stuff so I have to wait until my old man gets home and find out Anyway, those are some real quick things. Of course, my little gnomes. I have them everywhere. They usually stay outside, but they, uh, it was time for them to come in because it's getting nasty out there and I don't want the rain blasting. His little lantern actually lights up. And his eyes will actually follow you. <laughs> You get into where he's looking. Anyway, he's not going to do it because he's on camera. And then here's my big boy. Watching over my house. Looks like he's got his hands on a pair of pistols in his side pocket, don't he? <laughs> and of course, right here is where my baby Lexi lays in front of the fireplace. And here's my crystal ball. This is just a neat thing I bought. It's a crystal ball and skull hands. My whole house is witchy. Every single thing is witchy. Here's, see how I told you that I keep my stuff out. Here's my morsel and petal in my living room on a shelf. My uh, sage stuff. All my crystals and stuff like that. And I just love this. This is see, I buy all this stuff. As I'm telling you, this path can lead you into a lot of money. A little black cat, and it's got a broom here beside it. And she's leaned up like it looks like a little fireplace here. Really cute. And then of course, I have my green man incense holder. And on the other side. Is the lady and then of course I have that <laughs> she actually needs to be facing the other way I guess it doesn't matter either way but um, anyway there is my statue for Athena there's Bridget I put God down here on the bottom because she is earth and these statues I'm telling you they were pure bronze when I bought them. And this stuff is just turning the way it wants to. The fruit is turning its the colors it wants to turn. And the flowers on her. The grapes over here are turning purple. But the rest of her is bronze. The little bird in her hand has turned blue. Or on her, she's holding a... Um, a bunch of uh, like a well a bunch of wheat you know gathered up and there's a little bird sitting in it and that bird 
was all bronze. Isn't that amazing? I just can't believe it. This bird and its eggs, but yet everything around it is turning, is staying bronze. The owl. See how the color's coming in his feathers? I just can't believe that on these statues. I, I didn't notice that actually until I started doing this video. There's my little fairy. I'm not into the fae, but I have a good friend that is. And um, this was actually going to be for her, but I figured I'd wash it one day and wash all the pewter right off of it. So she's just white now. <laughs> But that's really weird about my statues. I just can't, I can't believe that. I'm, that is awesome. Here's a little wreath that hangs in my house side door. There's another one on my front door, but it's orange and black. It's not, it doesn't have anything witchy witchy on it. Spider webs and stuff. And of course here I have Hades. And... This down here is, it, it was a little red when I bought it, but now it's really dark red. And the red coming up on his sash. Oh my gosh, that is so freaking awesome. Wow. Okay, well, that's just a little quick tour. Maybe later on I'll show y'all some more things. But for now, oh, I forgot my little witchy paraffin ball. That's my daddy that's no longer with us. I miss him, miss him, miss him. Okay. Well, just thought I'd give y'all a little share. Thank you, and I will talk to y'all in a little bit. We're going to do a circle. Bye-bye.